the mid-1970s, parents of people with intellectual disabilities were faced with a serious shortage of residential housing and support services for their loved ones. A number of these individuals collaborated with the ARC and the Knights of Columbus to work towards resolving this issue. Because of these efforts, in 1977, four local Knights of Columbus chapters incorporated the organization we know today as Discovery Living. These pioneers paved the way home for hundreds of people with disabilities over the last 40 years. People with disabilities were reunited with their loved ones and given the opportunity to live in and fully access their community. However, our story is not over. It is just beginning. We hope to be here assisting people with disabilities for another 40 years and beyond. The endowment fund was established to provide a safety net, if you will, or stability for their times when there is a fluctuation of income from the state, county, or government funds. As we all know, there have been times that there has been a government shutdown, or for one reason or another, the funds from those entities have fluctuated. At that meeting, a mother, Dottie Cummins, stood up and asked this question. She said, my husband and I would like to know what is going to happen to our son, Charlie. Today, Charlie is living in a Discovery Living home. He is well cared for and very happy. Oh, yes. I'm a big fan of Discovery Living on many levels. 40 years ago, my husband and I had a child with very significant disabilities. And two years later, we had another child with significant disabilities. This shock didn't come very easily to us, and we were fearful of what the future held. I was there when they dug um, the ground for the very first group home, and was delighted to see people move in for the very first time and have a home of their own. Over the last 30 years, Discovery has built one home after another, providing long-term care for people even after their families are gone. Now, this is a big undertaking. Uh, it doesn't just happen. Uh, you don't just uh, go down to the bank and get a loan and invite people to live in a house. It takes a lot of planning and it takes a lot of partners. They don't just plan for today. They know that there is going to be a need today, tomorrow, next year, and way down the road. Legacy is really just what it means. You have a chance to leave behind the memories, a commitment, and, a, and an insurance policy that people with disabilities will have a place to live, that they will have a dignified life, that they will love being in their community, be able to socialize, and to be able to thrive. He's been goofing my name up ever since I left the hotel and ever since I left the uh, milestone place. I know some of you who are watching this really are wondering, what difference can I make for an endowment? I don't have a lot of money. It doesn't take a lot of money. It just takes a lot of friends of discovery because all those friends who give just a little bit, uh, it all adds up because an endowment is a very special mechanism of saving. It usually goes into a large institution that has a lot of money and can invest and look at ways to maximize your gift to its fullest so that it grows even faster and makes big differences. So if you think that you don't have very much money, you do. You have a tremendous amount of power and the ability to make so much difference, to move mountains, to build homes, to buy vans, and to make programs thrive. The success of this plan is dependent on each and every one of us to help our fellow human beings in need who were created by God.
To those that much has been given, much is expected.